On Friday, 16th September 2022, residents of Kabuga Quarters, Gwale local government area of Kano State in northern Nigeria, witnessed a shocking tragedy. A Chinese man identified as Gen Kwarong allegedly knifed to death a 23-year-old Nigerian woman named Buhari Yu Sani, popularly called Umita by family and friends. According to stories making rounds on social media regarding this tragedy, Mr. Geng was said to have courted Umita in the past, but somewhere along their courtship, their relationship hit the rocks and apparently halted. It was gathered that Umita later married another unnamed Nigerian man. However, this marriage was short-lived and Umita was single again. According to Premium Times, Mr. Geng and Umita reportedly continued courting after her marriage ended. Apparently, their renewed courtship couldn't fully rekindle their previously passionate relationship. This is obvious as it seems the murder was premeditated. Their relationship reached a point where Umita apparently didn't want it to continue. According to her mother, Mr. Geng always comes around wanting to see Umita and she has been refusing. On that fateful day, he visited them and kept knocking on the door. He knocked at the door for almost an hour. According to Umita's mother, Umita told her to go and send him away. When Umita's mother was fed up of him hitting the door loudly, she opened the door. Mr. Geng got his opportunity, pushed her aside and got into Umita's room. Immediately, he started stabbing her with a knife. You can see it was clearly his intention to murder this innocent young woman. While he was stabbing Umita, her traumatized mother started shouting and people came running. Umida was rushed to a hospital, but before arrival, she had already given up the ghost. This happened around 9.30 p.m. It was said that her mother was home with Umita and her two younger sisters when the tragedy happened. Her brother who lives with them was out and her father is dead. It was a rainy night too. Obviously, most people were indoors and couldn't hear Umita's mother shouting until a man came and entered the room through the window, overpowered Mr. Geng and took him out of the room. But it was too late. It was gathered that Mr. Geng ran off and they chased him and brought him back. He is now with the police. Omita was the eldest daughter of her family, but she has two elder brothers. According to Sadiq Sani, Omita's elder brother, she was a student in the Department of Agriculture of Osman Danfodio University. He said she was really looking forward to contributing her quota to societal development before her untimely tragic death. Describing Mr. Geng, Sadiq said they saw him as a nice guy with whom the family and even the neighbors had a good relationship. He said that Mr. Geng once visited their home, and while going home, his car broke down and one of Sunny's neighbors drove him home with the neighbor's car. Therefore, it was shocking to them that Mr. Geng could carry out such a dastardly act. Sadiq and his friends had gone out for dinner when Mr. Geng visited and murdered his sister. He only got to know when he returned to meet unusual crowd in their compound. Sadiq told BBC Pigeon that he hopes and wishes for swift justice from authorities so that his sister's murderer would face the penalty for what he did. When the police questioned Mr. Geng, the suspect claimed that the deceased deceived and collected money from him with the promise to marry him but failed to fulfill her promise. But according to Umita's mother, and I quote, I want the authorities to see this criminal act. It was long since their love affair ended. She got married and later got divorced. That was when he came back to her life, pressing that he must see her. He used to come in, although we don't like it, he doesn't understand. We used to chase him out. When I attempted informing the police, my children would refuse and say let's not take the matter public. He understands that she doesn't want to see him. When he calls, she doesn't pick up. That's when he decided to invade. Revealing that they first met at a shop right mall, Umita's mother continued. When she got married, they separated until she was divorced. Her husband suspects she was chatting with him on phone, although that was not what led to the failure of her marriage. Of course, she told him that she was going to marry him. But because her paternal uncles saw issues coming, they refused and I agreed with them. She concluded.
Meanwhile, the Nigerian House of Representatives has resolved to investigate the legal status of the Chinese national, Geng Kwarong. The House mandated its committees on interior and justice to investigate the status of Ms. Buhari and directed the suspension of the operation of the firm the man works with. This resolution was sequel to a motion of urgent public importance, moved by Kabiru Ruron, a member from Kano State. The members of the committees are to also visit the family of the deceased to convey the condolence of the House. The House also directed the Chinese ambassador to Nigeria and the Chinese community in Kano State to condole with the government and people of Kano State and Nigeria. In the motion at plenary, Mr. Ruron disclosed that Ms. Buhari was in fact a core member undergoing the mandatory national youth service in Sokoto before she was murdered. Speaking in support of the motion, House member Uzoma Abonta from Abia State said the Nigerian government cannot allow foreigners to subject Nigerians to such treatment. He must have said this as there have been many complaints about how badly foreigners treat Nigerians in Nigeria, especially in workplaces where the foreigners hold higher positions and in companies they own. Mr. Geng is currently remanded at Kumawa Median Security Custodian Facility following the order of a magistrate court in Kano State. In addition, the Chinese Business Community Association of Nigeria had issued a statement supporting the prosecution of Mr. Geng. Mike John, the leader of the community in a statement, condemned the criminal act. Their full statement is contained in this document as displayed. Umida was said to have been buried on Saturday, 17th September 2022, a day after she was murdered. May her soul rest in peace.